Hi, brethren. It's Lisa with Sabbath Seekers. Wanted to come share a dream with you that Deborah had. This is my friend and sister in Christ that I live with. And um, she and I just enjoy uh, prayer time and Bible studies together. And it's a real blessing uh, to be able to have each other uh, in our lives. So um, she woke up on April 2nd, yesterday morning, with a dream that um, I'm going to show you two photos here to explain to you what she saw. She did not understand what she saw. It's ironic and that her husband, her husband did. He did understand the dream because she woke up and she really tells him her dreams, but she woke up and told him and he understood exactly what it is. And I think we all will. In the dream, she saw a $20 bill, as you see on your screen. She was given this $20 bill. Someone had handed it to her. As soon as she received it, she flipped it over just to look at the back. And on the back, it was a $5 bill. She didn't understand why she was holding a $20 bill, but on the, when she flipped it over, it was a $5 bill. Well, I think we can all understand that this is the, the Lord is showing her the amount of inflation that we're going to be facing. If we understand the math of this and looking at this, I see this as a 75% inflation. It's astronomical. So, we just want to share these things. You know, we live in a very uh, pivotal time. And so much is taking place. Almost daily train derailments of the reason we do not know and whether it's being investigated, why there were so many, we don't hear about this. Um, the tornadoes, the storms that are coming through today and tomorrow, we're being told they're even more fierce than the previous two we just had this past week. Please be weather aware. You can check, you can, um, Keep track of tornado warnings by Tornado um, HQ, and that is online, Tornado HQ. And um, many probably weren't aware that there was a 7.0 earthquake yesterday in Russia. You can look at Earthquake Tracker for that. So, I believe a 6.5 and a 7.0 happened yesterday. So much, we can't even keep up with what's going on. But I wanted to remind you of something. Do you remember back August 21st, 2017? That was the day of the first portion of the eclipse that went, the, the solar eclipse that went over America. And all the cities that it crossed with the name Salem in them. This told us the judgment was coming upon the land. Everyone that is a believer that was speaking about it knew because this would form eventually on April 8th, 2024, that's just a year from now, a complete X over America with the X uh, portion in the center, X marks the spot over uh, Illinois, the Madrid fault line. We were warned these things for a reason to get our house in order lest we perish. The most important thing that we can do is to draw close to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because there is no form or amount of prepping that you can do to truly be prepared spiritually if a tornado comes along or any weather event comes along and destroys everything that you have been prepping. Someone put out an article about that yesterday, how he realized with all of his preps that this tornado is, these tornadoes have been catastrophic. They have left the land looking like stubble. I noticed that in looking at some of the pictures. The land actually looks like stubble. We read about those things in the Word of God. How can you be prepared for 75% inflation? India, 15 nations have joined on to the uh, to ditch the dollar. These are things in the news. Bloomberg, other countries, 
I believe it's four or five that have made agreements uh, to operate in the WAN. Is this the reason that our $20 bill is going to look like a $5 bill? More than likely. And what will they say to the people who have been doing uh, uh, bank runs? I mean, whatever you have in cash, will it be actually worth anything when you go to turn it in? These are questions we have. Nothing is what it seems. We always have to be prepared in our heart for everything. You know, the Lord led me. You can find this in my playlist. The Lord led me. Uh, what January of 21 to read audibly to you the book the hiding place there's really nothing that anyone can do to prepare that they could do to prepare for World War two it was the Lord God himself that led them through all of it I'm not saying don't get anything together or uh, don't prepare but I think it's important to let the Lord lead you in those things and not let fear lead us I was really concerned with the bank closures and stock market, what Father wanted me to do regarding the breadbasket, what he wanted me to do with those funds. Well, I realized about two weeks ago, I'd asked him, what, what do you want me to do? Have I forgotten anything? Is there anything I want you want me to do, Father? He said, nothing. I've been preparing you. I've been preparing you for a long time now. Be still and know that I am God. He prepares us. He causes us to go forward. He causes us to do. He causes things to happen. It's for his will and purpose. For our good. So I was asking him about these bank closures. He has told me to remain still at this time. We are still carrying on just like we have. But this time I know is coming and I know that he will lead. We have to count on him to lead us. There is nothing that um, you can do physically to save yourself. It will be by the power of God and His doing and His leading you. So whatever He leads you to personally do, that is what you should do. But you have to seek Him in prayer, all supplication. The Bible tells us that to be anxious for nothing... But in all prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. I seek him for every move I make, every decision. I have to, because really, I, I, I don't trust that what I would do would be effective. I have a good shepherd and a good father who will lead me. So it's very important that we pray over these things. But, you know, be aware. You know, Deborah doesn't have very many dreams and visions. And she did not understand why she was given a $20 bill in the dream. And she flips it over. And it is a $5 bill. Her husband knew. He doesn't even believe in the Lord. He mocks. He mocks us actually says some things that just um, we have to pray over continually. We pray for his soul every day. But he understood. He said, oh, you had a dream about inflation. The dream specifically showed 75% inflation. Can you imagine going and complaining about a, 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 excuse me, a loaf of bread being $5 and all of a sudden it's 20 Be prepared in your heart. These times are coming and let the Lord lead you. If you're one of those people who you know that when this time comes the Lord is going to lead you you know, to feed even if you have one portion of food if you believe, if you have the faith of a mustard seed you will know that the Lord can multiply that food and you will be able to feed others. But we have to walk in that faith and that assurance and the promise he gave us. He told us we would be doing greater things than the things that we saw back in the day when the disciples were walking with him and the power that he gave them. The disciples were so amazed when he sent them out, when he gave them power, when Jesus gave them power and they went out 
and they came back after their mission where he sent them and they said, you know, they were healing and casting out demons and they were just, they just marveled. They said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us. The Lord said, marvel not that the demons are subject to you, but marvel that your names are written in the book of life. Is your name written in the book of life? Do you truly know our Lord and Savior? Do you sup with him? Do you seek him? I'm asking you this because we are at the last pivotal hours. And I always said back in 2017, when this X crosses, the final X crosses America, she will be no more. It is a process in the midst of, from the first portion of the X to the last. And I'm not trying to scare anyone or put fear in anyone. I just want you to be prepared. And the only way you're going to be prepared is through the Lord, our God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He will lead you. He will guide you if you're letting. The people who were having tailgate parties, tailgate parties and special sunglasses and all the parties that were going along, I knew at that moment, that very day, it was the day my sister passed away. I knew, and I stood on the front porch. I said, they, they won't be having tailgate parties when the other side of this comes along. It will be finished. Get your house in order. Get your heart in order. And cling to the Lord Jesus Christ. I say to him every day, help me keep my eyes on you, Father. Help me keep my eyes on you, Jesus. Seek him. Until I talk with you on the second part of the Daniel study, have a very blessed day. Lord bless you in the mighty name and power of Jesus Christ as he leads you in all things. Shalom.